Did the Jehovah's Witness corrupt the Bible? Jehovah's Witness believe that Jesus is a created being and not God. And every time the divinity of Christ is mentioned in the Bible, they have a different translation. For example, in Philippians 2, Paul writes that even though Jesus was equal with God, he did not take advantage of that. Now in the New World Translation, it says, he did not even consider the idea of trying to be equal with God. The main scripture that JWs use to prove that Jesus is a created being is Colossians 1.15. Jesus is the firstborn of all creation. Now, if Jesus was a creation, then he can't be God. Makes sense, right? Here's the problem with that interpretation. King David is also called the firstborn in Psalm 29, 27. And if you know your Bible, King David was the youngest in his family. Even Israel was called the firstborn and it wasn't the first nation. So it must mean something else. The firstborn is a title like the son of man or the son of God. Jesus has sovereignty over all creation. He is the sole heir, which leads me to the most dangerous thing in JW theology. And funnily enough, it's the next verse. Colossians 1.16 is evidence of not of a mistranslation disguising the divinity of Christ, but a corruption of the text. It says, by Jesus, all things were created. But in the New World Translation, it reads, by him, all other things were created. They inserted the word other, which is not in the Greek manuscripts. Even the Watchtower, who is in charge of all JW doctrine, says they added the word. It's one thing to mistranslate, but another thing to add words into the text just to suit your theology. I pray that you see who Jesus really is, the creator of all things.